Tres meses después, coño. Y antes te encuentras con un zombie. Pero llevas el hacha, eso me agrada. Damn it. What they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. The uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or <laughs> mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Solo quiere cuidar de su hija. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Si te dijo frescos que es un amole. Así. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just. Really frickin' hungry. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that what guys why the fuck is there a bear trap out here i don't know man who raided your camp I, i don't know guys with guns please we won't bother you i swear hey this is fucked up you've got to help me please then shut up my dad was special forces i know what i'm doing just see if you can get him out after that you can leave us or whatever i don't care please No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Do something! I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! 
try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. No, me temo que no. Dios, violento. Este no tiene super... Este no va a tener posibilidades. No tenemos ni médicos ni pollas. Como mucho la veterinario. No va a valer para salvar a este tío. Buah, se ha quedado hecho mierda, ¿no? Lo tenemos que, que llevar como carga. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. No, te muere. Vale, el campamento. Aunque la valla esa tampoco creo que abate mucho, ¿no? Eh? Open. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on. Come oh on. My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. 
If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Perfecto. No tienes comida ni pa' uno. Si son dos sticks de queso de mierda y una esta de manzana. Media manzana siquiera. Muy bien. Veamos. Bueno, vamos a hablar primero con esta. No se va a hablar, nada de comer. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Vale, por déjame en paz. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Darryl. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. No quiero preguntarte más cosas, coño. How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? No, no estoy seguro. I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Vale, esta tiene hambre y además es de las que me llevo bien. O sea, las que quiero llevarme bien. Va a ser... Bueno, la chiquilla está claro que va a comer. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Eh, la cuatro, ¿no? Okay. La galleta sí que es. Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> huh. I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Claro, vamos a comer tan, vamos a darle a también a este. Así por. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog. Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Puto chiquillo. Es una cabra, claro. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know mom can fix him. Huh. Si tomanda. Como un poco a ver si te vuelves un poco más inteligente con los dibujos. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Vale, los chiquillos ya tienen su comida. Y luego quiero llevarme también bien con él. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem.
The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. La apoyaré. No, no está mala idea, verdad. Si te vas a un grupo más grande, como dicen cuando estábamos hablando con el otro antes, quizás nosotros aquí no tenemos comida. Ve el futuro muy negro. Este motel no creo que sea. Sí. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that or the walkers? No, Lily tiene raciones. Justo lo que no tenemos que hacer. Want something to eat? Le vamos a dar la carne seca. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Vale, los otros notaron que le di a este. Pero es que eso es lo que quiero. No, para alguien más. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Y si quiero llevarme también bien. Este, vale, este no sabemos si ha comido. Vamos a hablar con él. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Huh. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Get so it. who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker. The band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How are you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help. You know, some kind of, I don't know, something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah. Maybe. No. No te he dicho que estaba hambriento ni nada. I sure hope so. Este tío no te ha dicho ni que está hambriento ni pollas. Esta no es me quiero llevar bien con ella, así que. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Estoy dando comida que debo hacer. Bueno, vamos a pedir un consejo. That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Es que no me interesa Larry. Larry va, o sea, Larry creo que va a morir. Si lo es, si hay opción de morir, no voy a dejar morir al Larry. Eh, porque sabe mi secreto y esta también. Y esta es la más inteligente. Me quedaré con esta tía. Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Ha ha. O sea, creo que he acertado con la manzana con ella. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Hmm. 
No, es que no les hemos dado nada de comer porque no me interesan. La gente que me interesa, eh, le estoy dando a la gente que me interesa de comer. Esta me interesa quedármela. La verdad es que esta no, o sea. La veo muy nana líder, pero no. Este tío me, gusta, me cae mejor, es un buen tipo. Y tiene familia, esta tiene al Larry. Y Larry es un gilipollas. Ah, mira. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Joder, yo quería jugar con él. <laughs> Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Ah, oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Te cabra. Tiene 60 centavos, eh. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Bien, hablemos con, con este. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kanja can save him. Si lo siento, me quedé sin comida. Sorry, there's there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just. Give me next time. Vale, para la próxima. Bueno, pues para la próxima lo guardaré. Si nunca extrañas la base de los aviones. The Air Force Base. I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Sí, vale, Lily está bastante enojada. Do you need help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Vale. Nah. Amar no me va a fiar nunca de la ría, así que Amar. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... <laughs> Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Uh, Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought... I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? No, no da tiempo a contestarle. Puto zo. El hacha, vaya. Pues menos mal que se la da a este, porque si se la da al Larry. Seguro que el Larry es más músculo. El cabrón. Pero no me fío de una mierda del Larry. Tío, le, le he dado, le he dado, lo juro. Ah, oh, ve que. Ah, ah, ah. Déjame huir. Mira quién nos salva al final. La tía está. ¿Estás bien? Sí, gracias. ¿Por qué te traigo aquí en el primer lugar, asco? Dad, calma. Te vas a matar a todos. Te dijiste que no estaba atacado. ¿Qué? Te preguntamos a ti, punto blanco, si estaba atacado y tú dijiste no. No lo estaba. Bueno, tu amigo no atacado aquí vino a la vida y intentó matar a mi esposa. ¿Qué? Espera, ¿todos no saben? ¿Qué estás hablando? ¿Qué estás hablando? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Coño. Estamos todos? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. 
But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. No queremos ningún problema. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon, where we have access to the pharmacy, for Dad. Kenny, Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, Pumpkin. Carly? I oh, said we go. It. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Huh. Clementine, what do you think? Lee, I'm very hungry. Damn, basically. All right. Looks like we're going to a dairy. 